Hey you guys, this is a story out of Gonzales, Louisiana. Um, a driver shoots himself during encounter with Gonzales police officer after crash, the sheriff says. A driver who flipped a sports car shot himself while being questioned by a Gonzales police officer after a crash, according to the Ascension Parish Sheriff Bobby Webb. I don't know if that's how you say his name. It's W-E-B-R-E. -E. Police say it happened on Ashland Road near LA 30 after 11.15 p.m. Wednesday, December 14th. The sheriff identified the driver as Joseph White Jr. He added White died at the scene. Officials say they received a nine, several 911 calls about a white Corvette being driven recklessly in the area near LA 30 and I-10. Sheriff Webb said White's wife, who was in the car with him, called the police twice and said she was getting pistol whipped. The two occupants of that car were married. They were separated at the time, and we believe she had a restraining order against him but they decided to meet in Baton Rouge and she decided to take a ride with him. And the result of that is what happened last night, said Sheriff Webb. Gonzalez police officers were dispatched to the area and one of them saw a car fitting the vehicle's description flipped in the middle of Ashland Road. The sheriff believes some sort of struggle took place inside of the car, which led to the accident. When the officer drove up to the scene, the Corvette was on its roof. And as you see in the video, the guy started to approach him, said Webb. In the video, the suspect initially approaches the officer while the pair have a conversation. The suspect then pulls out his weapon and so does the Gonzalez police officer. Then White turns the gun towards his head and shoots himself. You heard the officer give some verbal commands there. Whenever there's a gun that's going to be produced in the presence of an officer, it really ratchets up the intensity of that situation. I would say every situation is different, said Webb. Webb said the officer fired three rounds and hit white once in the thigh when he saw white lifting the gun the officer has been placed on leave with pay official said the sheriff called the shooting a tragedy he added the autopsy should be complete by next week you don't know what goes on in people's mind and every time we have i mean i'm sorry you guys and every time when you have a situation where you have a family violence, domestic violence, and the taking of life, it's just a tough situation, said Webb. The woman who was in the car with White ran away from the scene after the crash and is in good condition. The Ascension Police Sheriff's Office and District Attorney's Office are still investigating. So, um... I heard the story from several different people and there was some uh, conflicting stories and I'm glad that I came here and got it for myself. But um, you guys, it really is a tragedy. Who knows what was going on in that man's head when he began by her accounts. I'm not, um, you know, I wasn't there, but she says that he was pistol whipping her. She may, I mean, very well, I would have been afraid for my life. I would have been calling the police if someone was speeding in a Corvette with me. And have any of you guys ever been down these roads in Louisiana? There are potholes everywhere, even on the interstate. And it only gets worse once you venture off of I-10, I-12, wherever you are on the interstate. So he could have flipped that car at any point, at any time, going super fast. Um, and people don't usually survive whenever a car is rolled over, especially a little, you know, car at that rate of speed. 
but this is a sad story I'm so happy for her grateful to God that she got away even though I don't know this woman she ran for her life and I would have to but the thing about it is guys when you feel threatened or frightened enough to get a restraining order against someone, remember that is a piece of paper. You cannot put that paper between you and that person. If someone calls you on the phone and you do not want to be associated and you have fear of that person, don't answer the phone, let them leave a message. If they show up at your house, don't invite them over because now you're also in, um, what do you call it? You're also to blame. Like when you go to court, you've just uh, made that an issue for you and that person. Like you are both going to be in trouble because that restraining order says that neither of you can come within a certain amount of space, you know? So, if you feel so threatened, do not engage with that person. This man's mind, we don't know what was going on in his head. You know, we don't know what happened in that car that made him, you know, just go out of his mind. There are pressures on people every single day and if you are frightened and you have an order of protection do not engage at all go to court make sure that you are safe and don't engage now they were married maybe they could have had you know gone to counseling and had help that way but until things are settled and you are not thinking your life is in danger, don't engage. Another thing is, this man had a mother. He had a father. I don't know if his parents are still alive. He had family, blood relatives. Maybe he had brothers and sisters and children. And he took his life, you guys. I'm going to leave a link to the video in the description box but I will not post the video. I just can't handle it anymore. And there is video, you guys, police cam, body cam video that this man took his own life. The officer did the right thing. When there was a gun produced, he shot him in the leg. That was a non, you know, potentially it could kill you, but he didn't go for his head. He didn't go for his torso. He went for somewhere that wouldn't just drop him dead unless it hit an artery. But he did the right thing. He did everything right. Because remember, we've seen so many of them do the wrong thing. So lately, it's just been blasted into our eyes. I cannot watch another video like that like seriously you guys i just can't do it but i'm bringing you this story because there are already conflicting stories out there it is clear the police officer did not take that man's life he took his life and i feel so sorry for his family that whatever was going on in his heart and soul in his spirit that he felt he had only one choice and that was to leave everything and everyone that ever loved him that he ever loved behind it is always sad it doesn't matter what happened before he took his life you guys obviously it does matter but what i'm saying is people who do this i don't think they really know what they're doing if that gun wasn't there, I don't think that the whole sequence would have happened. That woman was afraid for her life. She called the police. And guess what? She saved her life because 
if he wasn't thinking clearly enough to not end his, he could have ended hers. We, we just have to be careful. We have to be careful. And they were married. She knew him. And she knew, obviously, she had a restraining order, so she knew that he had issues. And let's not all just say he. Maybe they had issues together, you know? So we can't blame the officer because I've heard some things going around. We cannot blame the officer for what happened. He did his job correctly, you guys. And we should thank God for that after what we've been seeing lately. He did his job correctly. And to the family of this man, Mr. White, let's pray for them. And let's, I don't know who believes in prayer for, you know, the dead, but let's just pray for the whole family. Seriously, you guys, there is so much evil going on in the world. I know you guys see it. I mean, on a daily basis. Over and over and over again. This world has changed. And it's not going to get better unless we do some serious praying. Pray for our safety, our family, and pray for this world. And there's so much going on in this country that is against God. We all sin, right? But there's so much going on that is directly in God's face. Like, we don't care. That's what these people are saying who are making these crazy laws that don't make sense in a Christian country, right? So, that's all I'm going to say about that. Quoting Miss Candace, that's all I'm going to say about that. Let me know what you think in the comments.